I have to surround myself, first of all, with great people, the power of proximity, people who are gonna hold me accountable but are gonna build me up, not constantly complaining about this, that, or the other. I don't want any of that, I don't need it, and it doesn't help me. Recently got a text that said, hey, are you taking care of yourself? Because if you're not taking care of yourself, you're no good for your business, your family, your church, anything. I was like, man, what a great reminder. I do really well for a period of time and then I don't do really well. That's kind of the story for most entrepreneurs. So when I'm in my zone taking care and self-care of me as a CEO, which is so important so that I'm good for me, for my company, for my family, for my business, for my church, everything, I need to be doing that. So self-care as a CEO is super important. So let me share with you some of the things that I do to take care of myself. First and foremost, it starts with my nutrition. Like if I'm not eating well, if I'm eating garbage, then it's garbage in, garbage out. I just don't have the energy. I don't have the focus. I don't sleep well. So it really starts with the way that I eat my nutrition as a business owner. And so when I start to have the mindset like, okay, what am I eating? And this affects business. Isn't that interesting? When you start to change your mindset, like what I'm eating is going to affect business. It was so fascinating. I saw something last night that was like, I talked about the potatoes that McDonald's uses in its fries, right? And I started thinking about this, like they use a specific potato that's super long out of Idaho and they use this potato because it creates this really long golden fry. But the problem is to create the perfect potato, the people, the farmers that create those, it was talking about how they have to put so much toxin into the field that even the farmers will stay out there for four or five days out on that field. And then the potatoes have to sort of have this curing period for like six to eight weeks because they're not edible. Think about that. That's why these potatoes, these fries, they'll last for like 20 years and they don't decompose because of the toxicity that's in them. And yet this is what we eat. This is the things that people are putting in their bodies. So when I understand that what I put in my body really leads to my own self-care, then I'm it's different mindset about what I'm eating. The next thing that that really sort of goes next into is going to the gym, like working out. I have to do that early in the morning. The more that I do that, the more that I get the blood flow working. In fact, even this morning, I was on the treadmill, just walking at a high pace at an incline just to get the blood moving. And I was hitting a few messages back to people early this morning. Then I'm hitting some weights, keep my muscles strong, keep my core strong, and to keep going because Look, to be an entrepreneur, it's grueling. It can be challenging, both mentally, physically, and emotionally. If you're not eating well and you're not working out, taking care of you, you're the biggest asset of your business, then when that goes down, so can your business. So some of the other things that I do for self-care to take care of my body is massage. On a fairly regular basis, I probably need to do that more. Cryotherapy, like this is something new for me over the last year. I love cryotherapy. Well, let me take that back. I don't really love cryotherapy in the moment, but I love the result, right? So it's like freezing cold, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. I'm in this like cylinder, this tube, the window that they give you like freezes over. I don't even know why there's a window there. You can't look out. I'm like in there for three minutes and in 30 seconds, I'm shivering like it's, I'm freezing. But the results, right? Inflammation goes down. My joints feel good. I feel alive. I feel energized, super valuable. And at the same time, I'll also go get a vitamin IV. For a while there, I was doing those once a week, which was incredibly beneficial. And so I would highly encourage you as a CEO, if you're not taking care of yourself and taking care of your physical body to start with, you're going to feel it. People around you are going to feel it. But when you are, you have more energy. You can show up better for your team, for your customers, your clients, and those around you. Now that's the physical body. Like that's my physical body that I'm taking care of and ways that I do that. Next is sort of my mental energy. I have to surround myself, first of all, with great people, the power of proximity, people who are going to hold me accountable, but are going to build me up, not constantly complaining about this, that, or the other. I don't want any of that. I don't need it. And it doesn't help me. One of the other things that I do to really protect my mind is I don't watch TV. I hardly watch any TV and I listen to podcasts. I listen to books. There's a few people that I plug into. I use something called, and that's why we developed something called the Producers Playlist. And we'll put a link below to the Producers Playlist, which is a, a compilation of podcasts, audiobooks, et cetera, that really keep you focused on the mindset that it takes to build the skill set of an entrepreneur and a CEO. And then lastly, for self-care, really, this is like making sure that on my calendar, I schedule time for me, for my family, for vacations, for time off. Those have to go on there first because otherwise my schedule just gets filled up. So if I'm not taking care of myself physically, mentally, emotionally, then I'm literally no good for anyone and either are you. And I know that it's so much easier to say than to do, but over the years, I mean, this is something I wished I'd learned early in my business is that I've got to take care of myself the entire way through. Business is challenging. Business is tough. And, you know, you've got to feel it 
the top of your game, right? When somebody, you get that opportunity to give your sales pitch, to give your presentation. If you're not feeling great, if you're not at the top of your game, if you're not, you know, dressed the way you want to dress, if you're not feeling it, like that can result in a lack of business. So you've got to take care of yourself. You know, I'm always fascinated when I see a business owner who's trying to pitch me something, or they're trying to tell me how great their business product or service is, especially coaches. I see business coaches all the time and I'm like, man, you look miserable. You're, you're not in good health. You know, your family's falling apart. Like, what are you actually going to share with me? So if you're not living it yourself, how can you teach it to others, right? How can you give to your customer the way that you need to give it if you're not taking care of yourself? So look, if you're watching this and you're a CEO, make sure you go back, follow the tips. I'd love to hear from you. What do you do for self-care? Go ahead and put it in the comments, put it below. Like and subscribe to this video. And if you know somebody that like, there's a gentle way, a gentle reminder that you'd like to say to them, hey man, you got to take care of yourself. Send them this video. Just say, hey man, thinking of you and send them this video and see what happens.